Sophia the First, Once Upon a Princess. In a small village in the kingdom of Vincentia lives a little girl named Sophia. She often helps out her mother, Miranda, who works as a cobbler. One morning, Sophia and her mother go to the castle to bring King Roland a new pair of shoes. He and Miranda take one look at each other and it's love at first sight. The couple soon marries and Sophia and Miranda moves into the castle with the king and his two children, Amber and James. To welcome Sophia into the family, King Roland plans a royal ball in her honor. He also gives her a beautiful gift. It's a very special amulet, the king explains, so you must promise to never take it off. Sophia hugs the king and queen goodnight and runs toward her room with a big smile on her face. In the hallway, Cedric stops in his tracks. The king's royal sorcerer immediately recognizes Sophia's necklace. It's the amulet of Avalor, the powerful pendant Cedric had been trying to get for years. With its magic, Cedric could rule all of Vincentia. Now Cedric just needs to come up with a plan to get the amulet. The next morning, Sophia starts her first day at Royal Prep Academy. The other students like her a lot, which makes her stepsister Amber feel a little jealous. So Amber convinces Sophia to take a ride on, a ma on the magic moving swing at recess. It's fun at first, but then the swing speeds up and sends Sophia flying into the fountain. James feels terrible for not stopping Amber's trick. Holding back her tears, Sophia runs from the playground into the woods to dry off her dress. There she finds a baby bird that has fallen off its nest. As she gently places the bird back into the nest with its mother, the amulet around her neck begins to glow. When she turns to leave, she thinks she hears a tiny squeaky voice that says, Thank you, but birds can talk, can they? The next morning, Sophia is greeted by Clover the rabbit, Whatnot the squirrel, and their bird friends Robin and Mia. They've come to help her get ready for school, and Sophia can understand every word they're saying. She can't believe her ears. Then Sophia remembers something. When I helped the baby bird yesterday, I think the amulet gave me the power to understand and talk to animals. Later that day, Amber plays another mean trick on her new stepsister. Knowing that Sophia is nervous about dancing in front of everyone at the ball, she gives Sophia a pair of trick shoes during dance class. They make her spin and twirl helplessly out of control. After there might be another dance disaster at the ball, Sophia asks Cedric for help. I have just the spell for you, the sorcerer says, knowing Sophia, showing Sophia some magic words to say when the waltz begins. Little does she know that the spell will put everyone to sleep and help Cedric steal the amulet. James storms into Amber's room as she gets ready for the ball. You gave Sophia the trick shoes on purpose, he said angrily. You're trying to ruin her ball because everyone likes her more than you. And after what you did today, so do I. James, wait, Amber chases after James and accidentally tears her gown. How can she go to the ball now? 
At the ball, everyone watches as King Roland proudly escorts Sofia into the ballroom. The orchestra begins to play. It's time for the first waltz. Sofia confidently says the magic words Cedric gave her. Somnibulis populi sella. Everyone falls asleep, including Cedric. Oh no, what have I done? Sophia cries running out of the room. A single tear falls onto her amulet and makes it glow. Suddenly a blue light appears and transforms into Cinderella. Your amulet brought me here, Cinderella explains. It links all the princesses that ever were. And when one of us is in trouble, another will come to help. Sophia, I can't undo the spell, but I know you'll find the answer you need. Cinderella suggests that Sophia try to become true sisters with Amber, something she'd never been able to do with her own stepsisters. Perhaps all she needs is a second chance. Then Cinderella disappears. Sophia finds Amber and brings her to the ballroom. Amber gasps, gasps when she sees everyone under the sleeping spell. Sophia feels terrible. It's all my fault. Amber shakes her head. No, Sophia. You wouldn't have needed the spell if I didn't give you those trick shoes. The girl realized that what had they needed all along was each other. The sister rushed to Cedric's workshop in search of a spell to wake everyone up. Clover tricks Cedric pets Raven, Wormwood, into revealing where Cedric's counterspell book is hidden. The Raven doesn't realize that, thanks to her amulet, Sophia can understand every word he says. As the girl heads back to the ballroom, Amber looks down at her torn dress. I can't go in there looking like this. But Sophia isn't about to leave her sister behind. She quickly grabs a needle and thread and mends the gown. There you go, good as new. Now it's Amber's turn to help. She takes Sophia's hand and show her sister how to waltz properly. Sophia smiles as she takes her place beside the king. Populi sella excitate. To her relief, everyone wakes up. Uh-oh, Cedric says when he realizes his plan didn't work. Then he flicks his wand and disappears in a puff of smoke. King Roland and Sophia begin to waltz. Sophia looks up at her new dad. I've been wondering, why do they call you Roland II? The king explains that his father was also named Roland. Sophia giggles. So I guess that makes me Sophia the first. And it's plain to see that this princess is going to live happily ever after. The end.